How did this happen yesterday? Listen, Greeny, I think this happened after the Seattle Seahawks and Chicago Bears had multiple conversations, and the Bears made every effort to go and try to trade for Russell Wilson. And the Seahawks were unwilling to deal him at this time. Again, I was told that they, quote-unquote, aggressively pursued Russell Wilson. They did everything they could to try to get Russell Wilson. But the Seahawks were in a position today that they were unwilling to deal Russell Wilson. And if you go back to the show yesterday, Greeny, what did we talk about? We said if you're going to trade Russell Wilson and you need a quarterback in return and you're John Schneider, the Seahawks general manager, you want as much time as you can to study these guys when there's been no combine, when there's been fewer college football games, when there's been less interaction. If you're moving on from Russell Wilson, you better feel good about the guy that you're replacing him with. And I don't think the Seahawks or many teams are comfortable entirely yet with the quarterbacks in the draft list. They love them. They're excited about them. But are you ready to move on from a quarterback who one day will be in the Hall of Fame for quarterbacks that you're still doing work on? The Seahawks weren't at this time. They might be right before the draft. Not today. And the Bears didn't want to wait. And they felt like the right move was to go get Andy Dalton while they could. There were other teams pursuing him as well. And so the Bears locked him up with a one-year, $10 million deal. They basically moved on. And again, we could really get creative and imaginative here, Greeny, but remember this. The Seattle Seahawks also liked Andy Dalton when he was coming out in the draft. So if mm. the Seahawks ever come around and change their line of thinking, maybe Andy Dalton could be a chip in that trade. So super quickly, because again, it was you to whom the agent gave the list of the four teams, and the Bears were on them, uh, along with the Saints and the Raiders and the Cowboys at the time. Should we consider this a done deal now? You, you keep using the word today. Seattle's not in a position to trade Russell Wilson today. I'm, I'm, I'm honing in on that. I don't think it's done. No. I don't think I'm ready to say Russell Wilson is a Seahawk, will be a Seahawk. I just know how this league operates. And again, I think that Maybe they're inclined today, they are inclined today, not to move on from him. But I want to see the draft come and go before I'm ready to say that Russell Wilson will be a Seahawk this year. Everything in their power to try and get John Snyder, the GM, to move off of Russell Wilson. Because they know this. The way they're set up right now, they don't need a game manager. They can't survive with a game manager. They can't survive with a bridge quarterback who is real risk-averse and something plays the game real conservatively. They need a difference maker. They need a guy who can make up for a very, very porous, quite honestly, poor pass protection defensive line. They need a quarterback who can get the ball to Allen Robinson and Darnell Mooney. That's why they need Russell, or that's why they need Sean, and that's why they tried so hard. This was plan B that they didn't want to go to. You think they wanted to go to Dalton? No, they didn't want to. And they know that right now, now everything else around this football team and on this football team has to be absolutely perfect. They have no margin for error anymore. And this is, this is the worst of all worlds for Chicago. Because, look, they already had Mitch Trubisky, although it was probably in hindsight probably the better option for them, but they had already moved on from that. And right now they're just absolutely stuck. Timing is everything. Seattle isn't ready to deal. Houston isn't ready to deal. They had to make some kind of move right now. And this was always going to be a move that they knew was going to be met with a lot of anger. And they're right now having to deal with that. There's no question about it. And Dan Graziano, you were making the point earlier that I thought was interesting, which is, and I know people, you, you told me the people you were talking to were saying, like, the Bears let their fans believe this. Like, th th there, was a, there was a real <laughs> feeling when it was right? always extremely unlikely. They sort of built on this a little bit. Yeah, th there's no question. I mean, uh, letting it be known that you're making an aggressive push for Russell Wilson, you know, it sounds great. Hey, we're out here trying. But then when you don't get him, that does lead to a major letdown. I'm just so glad, Greeny, that Adam Schefter said what he said at the top of this show because w when I was following all this reaction yesterday, my, my thought was, did I miss something? Like, is week one this Sunday? Because <laughs> there, there's still a lot of time for things to change. And absolutely – this could get to a point this offseason where the Seattle Seahawks change their mind and decide that they are willing to talk about Russell Wilson. And if and when that happens, the Bears are not going to, you know, take the call and go, no, thanks, we're good, we got Dalton. They'll, they'll listen at that point, and they'll make another effort. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt about it. So uh, I, I think the draft is a date to watch. June 1st is a date to watch because of the cap implications of trading a guy like Wilson before or after. I just don't think this is all the way over, and you definitely need a contingency plan in case that doesn't work out.
I, I'm being told that Shefty wants back in here. Shefty, what are we missing? Well, the Andy Dalton contract is such that the Bears gave him a $7 million signing bonus. Now, if I were the Bears, I would have given him a series of option bonuses that I could have paid during the season and kept alive the idea that maybe Seattle might have wanted Andy Dalton in a trade if Seattle changes its mind and decides it is open to talking with Chicago. But again, they've had, I think, exhaustive conversations. And the Bears came away from those conversations under the impression that Seattle was not going to trade Russell Wilson. I'll say this. They certainly were not going to trade Russell Wilson to a team with a 20th overall pick where mm. they can't get a quarterback. Now, if you can promise a quarterback that Seattle really would like, that it's comfortable with, I think Seattle's open to listening. But they're not open to the listening to a team with the 20th overall pick in the draft unless somehow they can make some magic happen that is very hard to do. Okay, so this, this is all really that important. Was the, other, and so the other key point. Yeah, thank you, Danny. And let me Seattle let me get Tori in. Chicago was the team. Yeah, yeah. let me get Tori Smith into the conversation here for the first time today. Tori, a pleasure to see you as always. And you, you keep using the words passive aggressive every time I ask you about the way Russell Wilson has handled this. What if, now that we see all this happen in front of our eyes? What do you make of it? Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised at all by the results. Um, Russ never came out and said he wants to be traded. And until that happens, nothing's going to change. Seattle has no reason. It's like having your nice luxury Ferrari and saying, hey, I want to buy this from you. Well, you can't buy it from an owner who doesn't want to sell it or just give it <laughs> away. And Russ hasn't come out to say that he wants to leave. So it just doesn't make any sense. Like everyone had these big expectations and hopes that he was available because he put out his passive aggressive list of teams that he may want to be traded to. But it didn't make any sense because he never came out like Deshaun Watson and said, I want out. So this result, we shouldn't be surprised at it. And it's not going to change until that happens. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.